Hello and welcome to another Salesforce and Trailhead tutorial with myself, Jonathan Fox. And today I wanted to show you a bit about the live chat agent and how you can create one, um, include it within your Salesforce org, and you can obviously actually embed it on other websites if you have your own website as well. So moving forward straight away, two ways that you can set this up rather quick and easy. We can head over to the setup cog over here and go for service setup. Now service setup has a bunch of really nice walkthroughs uh, and wizards that allow you to set these kind of things up um, and, and really quite straightforward and easily. Uh, if you head over to recommend the setup over here and you click view all, what it allows you to do is some setup resources here. Um, we go ahead and type in chat up at the top here and we can click chat with customers. Now, if you click chat with customers, it takes you through a step by step where we create a queue. We add the individuals to the queue. So we'll call this chat two for now because uh, I have actually already got a uh, chat created already. So I'm not going to save this at the end. Um, routing configuration. My other one's priority one. Um, and we can decide priorities uh, based on lots of different factors and where they route to using the omni channel. However, I'm just going to put in two for now just because this is my second one. Work item size. So, how much is um, each item worth? So, in this case, it's worth five, and an agent can hold 20. So, here we go. Um, that's how much resource it takes up, and that's how much they're able to handle at once. Uh, once they've that are at full capacity, it can go to the next best person or the next uh, active person, for example. Uh, and then when they all get full, that's where you can introduce other techniques um, for managers and such. Here, we can do a, a variety of things. You can either put your, um, your website in there, you can put your Salesforce, um, my domain in there, um, or you can use the wildcard and use .force.com to allow it to be embedded anywhere in your org. Um, various different methods you can do in there. So I'm going to go ahead and... Yes. Um, wildcard .force.com Now, chat with customers. You can have chats for sales, service, or just with contacts in general. Now, this one I'm gonna do um, service, so that it one, I can create a case off the back of it, and I can pull up contact information. However, if you were using a live chat and it was in a sales capacity, you might want it to create leads and bring up any uh, information to do with um, sales or contacts, so you can adjust it. You don't also have to go with these, you can add your own in um, later on down the line. And then offline support. Now, offline support means that if there is no chat agent available or it is out of hours, the chat button will still appear on your site, but it allows them to open it up and leave a message, so to speak, create a case basically um, through some um, required fields uh, just so that they feel like they're still able to raise the issue that they want to speak about. Um, you can either have it off uh, which means they can't do that and they have to come back to your website when an agent is available within business working hours or something like that. Or you can turn it on for offline support and it allows them to create that case. And then that's finishing up. So I'm going to leave that for now um, because I've already created one. So moving forward, that's one method of creating your um, live agent chat through the recommended setup. However, what you can also do is you can new deployment in embedded service, which allows you to create your chat uh, using the customer support endpoint. That's the one that I've named, but you've got your chat settings in uh, chat here built in the chat settings, which creates this endpoint, allowing it to actually connect to your org. You've got your chat queue, which you need to add your agents to, to allow them to accept these um, message requests. You have got omnichannel, you need to enable your omni-channel so that we know when people are online or offline, agent-wise. And it allows you to, um, based on fields that are selected, you can actually route these messages and these customers to different 
agents depending on skills or a priority for example and then what we have here is a visual force page that I've created you get given the code so Salesforce generates this code for you here none of this is written by myself however because I'm a developer I can go in there and edit certain parts so you can see there's bits already that are commented out which I can uncomment and make them do things however out of the box Salesforce provides you with this so if you aren't code savvy you don't need to worry um, I've popped this code into a visual force page which means that if we head over to here now it's a plain visual force page it's nothing on it um, but we've got the chat button down here so we've got that page we've got our agent now our agent is offline red circle denote, denoting that they're offline um, so that means that it's just a contact us form if we click that um, once it loads it allows us to collect some information quite clear you can see that they're required with the star and once that information is collected it creates a case and that's because we are offline now if I decide to change this uh, and log into the Omni channel available for chat see that I'm logging in I'm now available if we go ahead and close that now it says chat with an expert we still have to fill in some information so we'll go ahead and fill in my details So that is my actual email address. Feel free to contact me if you so wish um, and for more information. I'm more than happy for people to contact me on this or comment in the, in the uh, comments below um, through YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. I'm more than happy to sit around and help people um, configure this uh, as well as anything else that uh, I've, I've demoed in the past. Go ahead and start uh, chat and you can see an agent is on the way head back over to Salesforce here and what we've got is this message request now it's showing how long it's been sat there waiting and we hover over it we get a little bit of the detail that was supplied and where they've most recently viewed so if you've embedded this um, chat feature on your website you can see which page they were accessing whilst they requested your support so if it's on a certain product you'd be able to get an inkling of what they're probably going to ask a question about so I'm going to go ahead and accept that chat. And once I've accepted that chat, I'm now in a conversation window. Go ahead, tab message, uh, tap enter, and I've sent a message. Now you can see quick uh, text here, super simple. You probably encountered it when you've dealt with uh, service agents yourselves. They sound like generic text probably is it's probably quick text so it allows them to click quickly click it and send a message you can also transfer this chat to a different agent now that is in case maybe you're a first line and you need to escalate it maybe they've come to the wrong department so you can uh, transfer the chat and you can also request a file so if I click to request a file um, and I want to attach it to the case go ahead and click that And we go ahead now and look at the chat what we've got is we can see that the agent has been chatting and we can request a file I'm gonna go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and throw on this select file under five megabytes so we've got a limit there as you can see this chat flowing nicely you can enable for your customer to save the transcript and they can close the chat and this is it this is a basic basic chat agent now there is so much you can do with this you can add buttons here you can do timeouts um, if the customer doesn't reply within a certain amount of time you can make it so that they um, get a notification and you may have heard in the background when I sent messages we get a nice sound notification over here we can see any past chats so we can see that Jonathan Fox here has actually had a chat with this service agent already. Um, and you can see some previous chats just to get a bit of context. Uh, this has now created a case for us um, because we need this information stored somewhere in case they come back to us at a later date. And we've got the transcript here. 
um, of this chat so we don't we can we won't lose the information that's been said and a contact here now the contact has been found based on the email address um, there's various other methods you can do uh, to ensure that no duplicates are created and then we can see some more detail here just a little bit more about start time end time wait time um, obviously when they're configured uh, this just allows you to start reporting and allows your um, your managers to have a peek into what's going on now one last thing you can do is you can enable um, a quick peek on the messages so you can actually start seeing what the user is going to type before they've sent it to give you that little bit of a prompt to know what they're going to ask next now I'm going to go ahead and click end chat that's stop this from being uh, communicated any further now the transcript has been saved and will be on the case what I can now see is that it's been ended over here so I can close the chat I can of course go back and start it all over again I hope that was super useful for you and I hope that this is something that you might be able to implement yourself um, so many customizations you can do this is really basic following the uh, web chat basic model um, module sorry on on trailhead obviously your imagination is your limit for what you can do with this and salesforce in general so until next time thank you very much mm -hmm.